this 2012 Range Rover Vogue is in immaculate condition. It's the last of the series and it's got the 4.4 litre turbo diesel V8 which I think is the best engine they have offered in a Range Rover Vogue. It's a luxury. Being the last of the series, it's got a number of additions. They got rid of the big gear stick. You simply change gear using this roller here. The cluster display is actually a big screen, similar to that on a Jaguar XJ. You've also got Bluetooth, reverse camera, it's even got a heated steering wheel. You've also got a Harman Kardon sound system. We'll start it up. So there's navigation. See this here, how it's got two and one, it's actually got a split screen. So from the driver's side you can see navigation and from the passenger side you can watch a movie. Incredible technology. It's also got air-conditioned seats, rear air conditioning, rear entertainment and the list goes on. I think these represent incredible value for money. This particular car has travelled 85,000 kilometres and it's totally standard. It's got the original wheels, the original engine, hasn't been modified or anything like that. Because they've got such a significant amount of power some people tune the engines, they, they add chips and things to give them even more power, but this is totally standard. It's got a tow bar as well. And it's metallic black with black leather interior. It's got the two-way tailgate, which is actually very clever. So that if you're backed up against a wall, just open that. If you're backed up against a wall, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. If you look at other full drives, like say a Mercedes ML or a, a Pajero. Pajero actually opens up from the side and, and opens all the way out. And it's about two or three metres long. That's not much use if you're in a car park. It's also got these protectors here in the back. The blinds are present. Just fold that. So that's good because in the, in the earlier series, there's the L322, I believe. Um, this was actually felt and there was a lot of damage throughout the back of the car from um, just from putting this down. So that was quite good. They've updated that. It's also got the rear net. And I have driven it and it drives beautifully. The good thing about this engine is it's, it sounds like a V8, it goes like a V8, it's got the fuel consumption of a diesel. I think at the moment it's averaging about 11 litres per 100 kilometres, which is pretty impressive for a car this size. This would weigh about three tonnes just under. There's your rear entertainment screens. It's, got, it's a luxury, so it's got the soft leather seats, I believe they're Nappa leather. And you can generally tell because of the perforations in the seat here and at the back. You've also, you can also adjust just the very back of the seat as well. And if you can't get comfortable in a Range Rover Vogue Luxury, I don't think you'll get comfortable in anything. It's also got significant off-road capability, low range, it's got the terrain response system, whether you're in snow, mud ruts, whatever it may be. Well, I think these are incredible value for money now when you consider what they cost new. Looks like it's got the original plates as well. Obviously it's got Xenon lights. It's got the adjustable suspension. And at the moment, the suspension is on low. They also call it access height because it's easy access in and out. And you've also got your paddle shift transmission. I believe the transmission in this car is the newer eight speed. And being a Vogue, I think they've all got a sunroof. 
and the list of features continues. But the key feature of this car is the fact that it's a 2012, it's a luxury and it's got the 4.4 litre turbo diesel engine. Thank you so much for watching. We're located about 20 minutes from Sydney Airport in Mountville and we certainly do look forward to hearing from you. This car has also been fully serviced up to date and I believe is not due for at least another 10,000 kilometres. Thanks again for watching.